Hello friends, in this video we are going to study about how we can calculate the resultant of a circuit if the resistors are connected in various combinations which may involve series as well as parallel simultaneously. So uh, this is the first question that I am going to take up. The circuit I have already drawn on the board. You can see that the resistor R1, R2 and R3, three resistors are there. R2 and R3 are connected in parallel with each other whereas R1 is in series with this arrangement. So for calculating the total resistant or the resultant resistant of such a circuit, first we need to calculate the resultant of this combination. Suppose uh, we take this as R dash. Since these two resistors are in parallel, we will be using the formula for parallel arrangement which we have discussed in the previous uh, videos that is 1 upon R dash is equal to 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. As you can see R dash will be the resultant of these two resistors. R2 and R3 are the given resistors. So 1 upon R dash will be 1 upon 10 plus 1 upon 15. So the LCM of 10 and 15 is 30. So this comes out to be 3 plus 2. So 1 upon R dash is 5 by 30 or therefore R dash is equal to 6 ohms because 5, 6 are 30. Now, this is the resultant of these two resistors but the combination of these two resistors is in series with R1. Therefore, the total resistant, total resultant that is R will be equal to R1 plus R dash. This is because R1 and the resultant of these two that is R dash are in series with each other and the formula for series is the sum of individual resistances. This sums up to be 5 plus 6 which is 11 ohms. So this is how we calculate the resultant of combination of resistors. Let's take up one more question. This is the second question. The circuit has been drawn on the board. This is somewhat different from the question that we have taken up earlier. Over here two resistors were in parallel but as you can see there are two resistors in series over here and the resultant of these two resistors is in parallel with the third one. So over here First, we will find out the resultant of R2 and R3 which are in series. So, over here the resultant R dash will be R2 plus R3. This is because here we are using the formula for series combination. So, R dash sums up to be 3 plus 2 that is 5 ohms. Now, again we will be using the resultant of this and this in parallel. So resultant will be 1 upon R is equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R dash. So this comes out to be 1 upon R is equal to 1 upon R1 is 2 ohms and R dash is 5 ohms. Simplifying this we get the LCM of 2 and 5 will be 10. So over here 5 plus 2, this is 7 by 10, this is 1 by R, so R will be 10 upon 7 ohms. This is the answer to this circuit. We will be taking up two more questions of the same type. So the third question that we are going to take up is this. As you can see in the diagram, these two resistors R2 and R3 are connected in parallel and the resultant is in series with R1 and R4. So what we are going to do over here is first we will be calculating the resultant of 
R2 and R3. Since they are in parallel, we will be using the formula 1 upon R dash is equal to 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. Substituting the values, we get 1 upon 5 plus 1 upon 5. So that is 1 upon R dash is equal to 2 by 5. Therefore, R dash will be 5 by 2 that is 2.5 ohms. This is the resultant of these two resistors. Now R1, R dash and R4 are in series. So the total resistance that will be denoted by R will be equal to R1 plus R dash plus R4. This sums up to be 2 plus 2.5 plus 2 that is 6.5 ohms. So this is the resultant resistance of the given circuit. Let us take up one more question that is the fourth question. Over here we have connected 6 resistors R1, R2, R3, R4, R5 and R6. It appears that they are actually in a ring but whenever we get such a question it is uh, the main thing that we have to uh, look for is that we have to find out how actually the arrangement is whether series or parallel. Now if we see over here the current is entering through this point and over here it is getting divided into two parts. One part is going here and one part is going here. So that means this part and this part they are in parallel. Now since the current flowing through R1, R2 and R3 is the same this means that R1, R2 and R3 are in series. Similarly this side R4, R5 and R6 or we can say R6, R5 and R4 they are in series. So that means these three resistors are in series and these three resistors are in series but their resultants are in parallel with each other. So for simplification of this, first we need to find out R dash that is R1 plus R2 plus R3 that is 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is 6 ohms. On the other side we can take R double dash. Again it will be R4 plus R5 plus R6 again 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is Again 6 ohms. Now these two resultants they are in parallel with each other. Using the formula of a parallel the resultant R will be 1 upon R dash plus 1 upon R double dash. That is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 which sums up to 2 by 6. Therefore R will be 6 by 2 that is 3 ohms. I hope it is now clear how you can calculate the resultants of resistors when they are connected in a variety of combinations. In the next video again we will be taking up some numericals based on such circuits. Keep watching and keep sharing if you like the videos.